Hi there, it's Tiffany, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you for this back loop half double crochet fun fringe beanie. My fun fringe is just regular half double crochet today, and the yarn I'm using is Peyton's Canadiana, which is definitely one of my favorite acrylics, besides having beautiful colors to choose from. It has got a really good amount of stretch and it is super soft. So, so soft. I love it. It's a four weight and I'm using the recommended hook size, which is an H. Uh, that's a number eight and it's a five millimeter. This is my Susan Bates hook, which I also love because it really helps me get those slip stitches fairly easily able to poke in there and get the slip stitches. So it's a very basic little beanie here. We're going to work back and forth this direction. The fringe is made all at once. We seam up the side, sew the top, and we're good to go. So anyway, here's my little seam up the back. Tried to disguise it as much as possible. Well, let's get started by making a simple slip knot and we will chain 36 chains or if you are making it with different yarn and a different hook size this is going to be the 6 to 12 month size and you want this part of the this base chain to equal about nine or nine and a half inches long this kind of makes it for a little tight beanie and with a brim, with about a two inch brim. So if you wanted it to be looser, you're going to choose the little bit larger size, 12 to 24 months. Anyway, I do have the chart on my website. It goes all the way up to an adult large size. You'd make this 12 inches long. Um, that does not include the fun fringe so, um, but again, that would be like a, t a tighter little beanie. So uh, if you want it a little bit slouchier, you're going to make this a little bit longer. Okay, so once you have your 36 chains, and um, you are going to start in the third chain from the hook with a half double crochet. Now work half double crochet into each chain up until the last three stitches. So that will just be for whatever number you decided to chain. Just reserve the last three stitches for a slip stitch. In my last three stitches here, I'm just going to work slip stitch. So insert my hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, and pull it through. And if these are proving too difficult for you, you can omit these. The only thing that will happen is that you'll just have a little bit extra bulk at the top of your hat. Okay. Uh, let's just chain one and turn and you'll work into the back loop right there into the first stitch of that row work the first three and then we're going to work Yarn, a half double crochet into the back loop here. So this is just another option here for you for this hat. You could also make this hat. I mean, we've got versions where you make it single crochet, back loop single crochet. This is the back loop half double crochet version. 
just showing you how to add that cute fun fringe. Okay, so you'll finish half double crochet all the way down the row. All right, I've jumped to a version that I've been working on. And when we get to the end of the row, one thing I like to do is work my last half double crochet underneath both V's instead of just the back loop. Just like a little preference that I have. Then I always chain two and turn and turn my work like a page in a book so it's the same direction every time. And this will be a fringe row. So I like to work again underneath the first two loops of this first stitch and then I work into the back loop. And after we make our three slip stitches, I'll show you how to make the little fringe. Okay, I've made it up to where my last three stitches here. So I'm working back loop, slip stitch. And sometimes this last one gets buried down in there. Now we will chain for the fringe. And for this, um, I'm chaining 12. And I'm going to work 10 half double crochets back to the base here. So I am starting in the third chain from the hook, and I am just working regular half double crochet. Now in other versions, we've done a yarn over slip stitch where I would just be yarning over and pulling through the two loops, but I'm choosing to do a regular half double crochet where I'm yarning over and pulling through three. You also could do just slip stitch, but I wanted these fun fringe to be just a little bit uh, thicker width wise and they're still doing just enough curl that I like it it's just enough and this is for my little James so I think it just gives it a nice little subtle look okay I'm back to the base I see my slip stitches here so I'm going to work these three and work my half double crochet back to the edge. And I'm about done with this hat. Now we will be working the fringe every other row. So that was my fringe row. I've come back. I chain one and turn. And on this row, just start working the slip stitches. So it's every other time we come back with the fringe. All right, I'm going to work this a few more rows until we get the size that I need. And I'd like to refer you to the size chart. I make it about three inches less than the size that I need. So for um, baby James, his width, head width is 16. I'm going to be making this 13 inches. Okay, so this is how I'm measuring it. I have 41 rows, but you know, we all use different yarn and you might have different tension than me. So, okay, <laughs> I kind of like, I'm. this is how I'm measuring it, like as if I haven't completely stretched it out, maybe right here, it's the 13 inches. So once you stretch it, it'll go out to 16 inches nicely i mean if it if you're really stretching it to 16 it's probably a little bit too tight 
depending on the size that you need with the according to the chart. So this is for the six to 12 month size. All right, when you have the appropriate size, we are going to fold this in half and slip stitch this together. Nicest way I can see to do it is at first work underneath the two and then underneath that starting chain, the two little crosses. And then what you're going to do is work the front loop and underneath the two little crosses of that starting chain. So front loop, and the starting chain. Front loop and the starting chain. Okay, so work that all the way down, including the slip stitches. Let's get this all seamed together. All right, once you have it seamed up, you're gonna go ahead and cut yourself a long tail Pull that out and um, this is you're gonna decide what you want to have it look like I I prefer to have this be the seam down the back so I'm going to turn this hat inside out and of course if this doesn't look good to you at all then I suggest um, using your tapestry needle and sewing it up that way but this is just kind of a little fast way to do it Kind of hides our seam so here we are here's kind of the little hidden seam seam and then you can decide but if you like that if you think that's more it's up to you okay so grab your tapestry needle i've got one here and now all you have to do is sew the top of this hat together around and around and cinch it in get it really tight so where's my starting one here I'm just gonna go in and out along the top of these the hat here and start gathering it in and I will work around this top edge several times until it's tight Okay, so this is about my third time around, and I really just keep just kind of working all the way around these stitches. Pulling it really tight until I really feel like this yarn is secure enough around the top. And then I'm going to just weaving this end a little bit. Kind of go back around the other way. Really get it in here. Do some across. and I feel like that's probably good enough so I'll kind of like really slip stitch in tight here not slip stitch just weave it in back and forth so it won't come undone that's it voila there's that one okay I've got one more weave that one in regularly There you go. You have the cutest little baby hat. And I think these are just the perfect amount of curl. Love it. So 
Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, you could always put glue one of those cute labels or sew one of those cute labels on right here. That's really, really popular. So you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Who am I with today? Who is my Valentine, huh? Who is my Valentine? This is baby James.